Hey, I'm Chris UX, and thank you for joining for another video. I am the founder of the Spy Agency located in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm gonna try my best to keep the video to under 15 minutes so I can upload this in its entirety on LinkedIn. Um, but if you'd like to see, I uh, have an extended workshop of how I put this stuff together, let me know in the comments. But basically, I'm showing you my process of taking an idea and bringing it to fruition for my UI portfolio. So to get started, like I always say in previous videos, always use your tools. And you know, I use ChatGPT a lot to help me get things started or bounce off ideas and whatnot. So that's what I did, because oftentimes, you know, you know you need a UI portfolio, but you're not sure where to start. So I simply asked GPT, give me a list of uh, suggestions for my UI portfolio and, and shoot off a list of apps, app ideas. And I wasn't so impressed with the list this time, and I want to push myself a little further. So um, so I just took some time out, you know, and just kind of browsed the internet a little bit, I was browsing Twitter, and I noticed a few followers was like saying they were bored and they were taking anonymous questions. Then it hit me, let's make an anonymous app. So of course, nothing new is under the sun. So the first thing, so I went back to ChatGPT and like, hey, can you give me a list of anonymous apps that's, that's available? And give me a list, so like you can see here on my slide here. So I went back to ChatGPT and I asked, is there an app where people can share Aeon thoughts? Of course, they gave me an answer. Yes, there are several apps where people can share anonymous thoughts or confessions. These apps provide a platform for users to express themselves without revealing their identity. Keep in mind that, and this is what I don't like. <laughs> now, this is what I don't like about ChatGPT. It'd be giving me extra stuff that I didn't even ask for. Keep in mind that the nature of anonymous app sharing apps can sometimes lead to misuse or negative uh, content. So it's essential to be cautious and mindful of community guidelines. And like, I didn't ask for that. Like, just give me a list. And so that's why you have to be careful about using some of this AI stuff because it'd be kind of, it's biased. I and mean, then of course, you know, it's not exactly smart. It's putting information that's already available on the internet, but they're trying to like, sometimes I feel like they're trying to lean you in a certain direction. Sometimes you're not trying to go, you know what I mean? But anyway, it gave me a list of uh, suggestions. So it gave me a list of apps like, like Whisper and Secret and, um, and Jodel. And so I looked it up and, and downloaded um, the app that they had available and you know, they kind of see what was around. So yeah, keep in mind that you're not a graphic designer, you're a UI designer. So your designs have to make sense and you have to make thoughtful decisions. That's the difference, right? So um, even though we're not going through the usual UX process of creating this app, you still had to think about certain things here. So that, that's why I did a little bit more research and just learn more um, and go more in depth, you know, by anonymous apps. So I went back to ChatGPT and then I asked, well, what are some of the things people dislike about these apps? So of course, they gave me an answer here. You know, cyberbullying and harassment, lack of accountability, spread of false information, inappropriate content, impact on mental health, lack of moderation, privacy, privacy concerns, trolling and abuse, and so forth. So now we know some of the downfalls about the drawbacks of having an anonymous app. So then, um, and like I said, this, you know, you're thinking it through, you know, you, you're asking questions and, you know, and I know I'm doing this, trying to do this in under 15 minutes, but this whole project did take me about two to three days. I need some time to just think back and reflect and think of the right questions I want to ask and the direction I want it to go. But anyway, I went back to ChatGPT and asked another question. Give me a list of the kinds of questions people would like to ask anonymously. And it gave me a list. Relationships, personal advice, work and career, health and wellness, friendship, and education, and, you know, and so on. So yeah, so now things are kind of come, coming together for the app. And you know, one thing I like about ChatGPT, it cuts a lot of time for me brainstorming things that it can give me instantaneously you know what I mean like some things like you got to bounce off and, and, and still thinking through but I know I need a name for the app and I didn't want to spend too much time trying to think like man what would be a name for this app so basically I went back to ChatGPT I'm like hey give me 10 suggestions to name this this Aeon app and don't feel restricted to what ChatGPT gives you you can ask again like I'd be like well I didn't like this can you give me 10 more suggestions or you know, or give me 10 more suggestions using this word incognito. Like, you know, you can kind of like shape and form to how you want it to be, you know, but they kind of give you, like I said, I like JTBT could kind of nudges you in the right direction or direction you want to go. So you have a name for the app, you kind of know what you want to do, what type of question they'd like to ask. Um, so now it kind of coming together, but you still need, before we really start designing, you need like a user flow, like an MVP 
of how this app will operate. Uh, I went back to ChatGPT. I am creating an app where users can truly share anonymous thoughts. They'll all have the ability to post and or respond to other users anonymously, broken down by various categories like hot takes, news, relationships, health, etc. Give me a user flow to help me put together the UI design. And right there instantly, it gave me a, a user flow. Uh, user registration, onboarding, home screen, category selection, post anonymous thought, uh, browsing and discovering thoughts. So like, and again, don't be too dependent on ChatGPT to go do all the work for you. It's kind of give you a head start or, you know, to get you, or just to get you started. You know what I mean? So, but at least I had like an overview where I wanted to go and you still got to have to customize it to, to where it makes sense. Cause you know, you do, you're the designer, not ChatGPT, right? So as you can see here in my, I started making frames in Figma. And it's kind of mapping out how many frames I think I'm going to need to make this, put this app together for my uh, UI portfolio. And so I decided to name the app Whisper. And you get the login, you know, you get your onboarding info, uh, list of categories, you know, and get different feeds, new posts, and notifications. So yeah, so I just put together some frames just to get me started, you know, real lo fi, you know, just kind of giving me direction, you know, some type of direction where I want to go. And I started thinking, like, okay, how can I turn it into the app? where I can see myself using it. You know, what kind of features do I would like to see or what type of features um, I didn't see on these other apps because I did go to the Play Store on Google uh, and download a couple of, couple of apps just to kind of see what was out there and how I operated. Um, so I made me a list of apps that, uh, well, I made me a list of features that I like to incorporate into my app to make it stand out. So some of my thoughts were you can follow users but you can't directly contact them. I want to make a, a text-based app um, truly anonymous, I want customized feeds, location, Q&As, hot takes, focus on, co on conversations, I want to be anti-influencer, I'm real big on now on social media, uh, I want to feature a custom color palette, I want a way to track uh, conversations, notifications, and put a time limit on questions up to 24 hours, and I need a logo for the Aeon, so like, basically I need like a, a avatar for the Aeon, so I thought there'd be some cool ideas to add that I saw to kind of piece things together. Cause, Cause a lot of these apps I saw wasn't truly anonymous or too many websites rather that I saw people on Twitter using, you know, cause, cause the person you, you um, leave a message for is not anonymous. So like you, so this is kind of one sided. So I want to be anonymous on both sides. I thought that'd be cool. And I also thought it'd be cool to put a time limit on the thoughts, you know, cause sometimes you may be asking for advice or you may want to do like a quick poll just give it up for 24 hours and then kind of keep um, and to keep the feed fresh, you know, nothing that's up there for a long period of time, you know. So now I'm on to the more of the fun stuff. So it's like now I want to start incorporating how I want this app to look like. So I went online. It's, it's tons of like color websites you can use, like Cooler, like um, uh, the Cooler Wheel from Adobe. There's a bunch of websites. You can even go to a, a paint website and see a Friday color. So as you can see on my slide here, I made like a list of uh, I compiled like some some color combinations that I thought was kind of cool. Trying to figure out how I want this app to look, but I know one of the things I want to do is I want to have like custom um, customization on the app where where the user can choose like a, from a variety of color combinations. So I thought that'd be cool to add. Now that kind of like got some colors together. Now I need to think about the avatar. How I want the avatar to look on the app. And so, like I say, everything not instantaneously. You know, like I took some time to like let my mind wander for a couple of hours, just kind of browse the internet, looking for inspiration. I went to dribble and whatnot. But then I thought about Reddit. I like the way Reddit had their avatars. You know, Reddit had those little alien looking things and you know, they had different outfits or whatever. So I'm like, okay, uh, I think that's a cool direction to go. It's still kind of anonymous. So, but how, why I wanted to do. And I didn't want to spend too much more time thinking about that part. So I went back to ChatGPT. Give me a list of 20 cool animals that are known to be sleek and mysterious in nature. You know, because this is an anonymous app. And so it gave me some uh, cool ideas. You know, it's a black panther, snow leopard, jaguar, cheetah, fossa, uh, you know, lynx, uh, I see a black mamba, greyhound. So you got like nice little list here. I still wasn't really sold on anything I saw on that list, but I was like, just kind of playing around with it, you know, just thinking about it, you know, just letting you know that don't feel like you had to knock it all out within a couple hours. So take some time to really think about it and think it through. So then I decided to go on, um, I have an account on Mid Journey, and you know what Mid Journey is, it's, um, it's a text to image 
um, AI tool. So I went to Mid Journey. So at Mid Journey, I typed in um, Imagine a creative vector, gender neutral icon, kawaii cat that's dressed as anonymous city dweller that all users can use for an app where everyone is anonymous. So it popped out those icons for me. And I thought it was pretty cool. There were some directions. Um, I'm playing around with it for a little bit. And then, like, that was the top set. So I kept playing around with it, um, changed the wording around and changed direction a little bit. And I got the side, I got the icons on the bottom on the bottom half that you see there on the on the slide. So now okay now I'm getting some it's shaping up now right. So now uh, on the next uh, next slide yes you can see that's why I start putting the colors together the color combinations that that I pulled in um, the icons. So now you see my lo-fi um, at the top and you see more of a high fidelity at the bottom. So now it's, it's, to me is is a beautiful simple colorful app. Uh, you know, not too heavy on graphics or anything. Uh, really focus on the content itself, that which I wanted. I made a little navigation at the bottom there. I uh, thought about that. So, like, I really put some thought into it, and now it's shaping up to be, to me, a, a very beautiful app to share anonymous thoughts. You see, I have I have more enlarged for you. You can see more detail. You know, when you get the you get the like and dislike, you leave comments. The time frame of the post on the bottom right hand. So you can see here, I, I made like a like a card based system. On the next slide here, you see more detail. Make sure my back button. I had I made sure I highlighted the different categories the posts are made in. So it's not like so not like it's a random list of thoughts. You know, it's, it's separated by categories. Also put you know the location because sometimes I thought it'd be cool that you can find anonymous thoughts by location that's near you. So I put a of course the the location is not disclosed, but it is showing how close. Uh, the, the other user is, you know, they're asking these questions or whatnot. And I like the time delay feature that I have in the bottom right hand side uh, of the card there. And then I'll show you, you know, when was that post made. So that was, I thought that was always cool. So I did put together some mock screens here. Um, I like the way it came out. So then, you know, I mocked it up and said how I look on the, on the Android phone. You know, it looks dope. But yeah, uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just like, um, so now you know, I have a, a nice design I can prototype up. And add to my UI portfolio. It's a nice original idea, and now your typical food app, you know, and nothing wrong with that. I just I've done it a few times already, so I want to do something a little bit more different. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, this was fun. Um, if you like what I put together, if you'd like to see a extended workshop about this or you know about the process uh, process of this. Let me know in the comments, and I try to put that together. But this uh this show you how to lean to your tools and, and think through it, your process, and and come up with a dope project add to your UI portfolio if that's what you're leaning towards as a designer. I mean, it's not really necessary. You're just trying to be like a UX, a UX researcher, but if you're trying to be more of a, if you're trying to be more of a UI designer, you know, it, you know, I think it's a cool idea to help you put together some ideas and get things going. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Later.